Uh, when this song was written, it was in 2020 and it was in MCO. Uh, at that time, very shaky. <laughs> so at that time, um, my late husband Josh and myself, we were going through a bit of a low season. Uh, we were low in spirit, just like this song, uh, this verse that's in Isaiah that this song is based on. I felt at that time God challenged me to shift my thinking. Um, to not focus so much on what was going on around us, but to see God as, um, look at God, because He is the God who has overcome every power and every principality, and He is the undefeated King, the reigning champion. So don't worry so much, lah, right? Uh, but then the following year, uh, Josh passed away, and I felt like this challenge became amplified by like 10,000 times more, because what I was going through then was a lot worse than the previous year. Um, so I had a lot of questions as I walked through my loss. But today, because of time, I just want to share two things. Uh, first of all, I looked at the life of Jesus uh, when, he was a, when he lived his life here on earth. It dawned on me that he didn't come here to enjoy life. Uh, in fact, he came here to die. And his death was excruciating and humiliating. And he faced a lot of opposition, right? At the time, all the religious people, they really hated him. And I realized that if my Lord is not exempt from suffering, then maybe I should manage my expectation. Uh, that um, I shouldn't think the trade-off of following God is a life with minimum problems. Not to say that I want to suffer, but that um, maybe the strongest force in my life should be about what is God doing in me and for me and for others. Um, and the other thought I had was Paul, uh, Apostle Paul, I mean the Bible Paul. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so uh, on Josh's marble slab at the cemetery, uh, we used the verse from Second Timothy, uh, the Passion Translation, which says, I have fought an excellent fight. I have finished my full course with all my might and I've kept my heart full of faith. I learned recently that when Paul wrote this, he was actually in prison waiting for his execution. And it dawned on me that, wow, this is a guy who does not back down. And um, I think he's okay with whatever goes on here because his eyes are focused on the eternity that's promised to every believer. And he knows that the race to getting there is the race that matters the most. Yeah. Again, I'm not saying I want to be a mother, <laughs> uh, but it sealed my conviction that I shouldn't choose. Uh, I mean, I shouldn't nitpick what I choose to follow. Uh, because if I choose to follow God a little bit here, a little bit there, I accept this, I reject that, then my faith is not genuine, it is conditional. And if I can have the real chance of having the real thing, then I don't want to settle for something that is counterfeit. Yeah, it's like I can have real money, but I settle for monopoly money, you know, something like that. So as I chose to take on that posture that I follow God all in, or I don't follow God at all, I think God really surprised me. He was very kind. Um, he helped me recover, and it's not in the way that I recover through the skin of my teeth, but he helped me recover in such a way that today I'm much stronger and a much better version of myself. And I don't even know how that happened, really. <laughs> yeah. Except it's by God's grace uh, and his faithfulness yeah, to carry me and sustain me through the toughest time of my life. Yeah, so today I want to say that this God that we love and serve, He is so worth following. Yeah.